In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about analysis actors. Analysis actors are responsible for creating the speech gesture curves that are generated when you analyze an audio file. Uh, the default analysis actor will create curves for blink and eyebrow raise and curves for moving the head, squinting the eyes, and so forth. Uh, when you click on the generate new take with this analysis actor button, you're telling the analysis actor to give us a new interpretation of uh, this particular animation. And you can zoom into a particular area, create a new take there, and that'll change that area locally uh, without impacting the animation as a whole. You can change the analysis actor that's associated with a particular animation um, by going to the animation menu and then selecting the analysis actor. Now whenever you see this list of analysis actors, what you're seeing are the files that are located in the install directory uh, analysis actors folder or in the My Documents Face Effect Studio 2009 Analysis Actor, fo actor folder. Um, so if I were to say select the Pitch and Stress Analysis Actor and then generate a new take based on that, uh, I'm going to get these three additional curves inserted uh, for pitch, the rate of speech, and the stress. And you can see how these uh, curves are uh, varying across the course of an audio file. You could use these as part of an internal process to, uh, let's say, have the uh, rate of speech influence how how wide the mouth is open when he's talking or something. Um, this just goes to show you that analysis actors can create uh, many different types of curves and behaviors, um, not just the uh, default ones, the blinks and eyebrow raises. Uh, you can use them to create body gestures, for example. So to learn a little bit more about how analysis actors are doing this internally, uh, we're going to load one of the analysis actors up. After all, it is just a face effects file. Um, so when we load up this file, um, go to the face graph, we can lay out the, the graph. Uh, what we're going to notice is a bunch of nodes. Uh, some of the nodes have underscores and some of them do not. Uh, the ones that do not are the curves that are going to get exported into uh, that you're going to see when you use this analysis actor. So the underscore nodes are internal only to the analysis actor. Same with groups, of uh, animation groups. Uh, the ones with underscores, uh, you're not going to see any events pop into your uh, actor when you when you analyze a file uh, if you're only using groups with underscores in them. If your group doesn't have an underscore, uh, any events in that group for that animation will actually get transferred to the uh, uh, the animation that's being generated. Um, so to show you a little more about what's going on here, uh, we can analyze a file. Uh, only rather than s since we're in an analysis actor, rather than actually uh, s you know using an another analysis actor, what we're going to do is just use the um, events only analysis actor. And this analysis analysis actor basically says, "Give me access to the raw events. Uh, don't you know generate any curves. Uh, just give me access to the raw events that the uh, analysis engine generates." And you'll see a wide range of events that are generated. Most of them are actually just uh, phoneme events. Uh, this is how you can use uh, analysis actors to generate co-articulation. Uh, you'll notice that some of the analysis actors that we have, uh, such as Masaru Cohen and Cartoon Co-Articulation, uh, are actually generating uh, speech target curves, like open. Uh, and they're best used when, you, when the mapping uh, doesn't have these curves, because uh, they'll inter interfere with each other. Um, but in addition to the phoneme targets, you also have uh, you know, information on stresses and silences. Uh, and you can use these events uh, by, uh, if your analysis actor, let's say, has the stress event group and it has the stress initial, anytime an initial stress is, uh, is called, uh, these are the events internally that are going to get fired. Uh, not all of them are going to have a probability of 1. Um, a blink happens with only 0 0.05 probability. And that's how you get the different behaviors uh, from this particular um, analysis actor. Uh, the other thing you're gonna, uh, that's useful to know is that many of these analysis actors um, are created from script. So if you look into the uh, FaceFX Studio install directory in the scripts directory, uh, you'll see that uh, there's a gesture lib .py file that's used to create uh, uh, the analysis actors. Uh, here it is here. Um, specifically, uh, it creates the version 1.7x compatible analysis actor and the no negative keys. Um, you can just set flags. Um, and this will actually go through and create all of the animations and groups required to uh, create these particular analysis actors. Uh, so that's a uh, 
a brief uh, overview of analysis, analysis actors. Uh, th there's a lot of potential for creating a custom pipeline uh, using this feature in FaceFX, but it does take uh, uh, some expertise with events uh, to do it properly.